it's that time, y'all, to say goodbye to Modern Warfare 3 for good. <laughs> Am I sad about it? Nah, I'm happy. I've been waiting for Black Ops 6 to drop. After I played the beta, after they added more maps for us to play during the beta, I really started the beta. The last couple hours that we had left, y'all, that's when I really just got into the beta and I was so mad it was leaving and I'm so happy it'll be back tomorrow. Hi, I'm Beautiful and welcome to this channel. If you're new here, hit that like button and hit that sub button and let's get into this video. So, what are some things that I enjoyed about Modern Warfare 3? That's what we're going to start with. We're going to start with what did I enjoy. Y'all know I play this game pretty much every day, if not every day. Every other day. Either way it goes, y'all know. It was way better than Modern Warfare 2. Let's just put it like that. Before this, y'all, we had Modern Warfare 2. So, yes, after playing this at the Modern Warfare 2, yes, I did have fun on Modern Warfare 3. I ain't going to lie. But what I did enjoy, I enjoyed the maps. Can't complain about the maps until the last season when they dropped all them shipments. But before that, it was fine. The animation maps, I know they had one animated look. Uh, no, 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 wait, hold on. They had three. They had Yard, which is one of my favorite maps, so of course I like that one. Um, they had an animated, it was a stash house. It was all right. And an animated Rust. Now those maps, I ain't gonna complain too much about them, but I know some people really didn't like them. Y'all let me know in the comments how y'all felt about them animated maps they brought in. I mean, maybe they did just try to try something different. Uh, I don't know, the maps weren't bad. But I ain't gonna say anything extra extreme was about the maps i can't really speak on the campaign for this game because i have never done a campaign not one time in call of duty or my call of duty history have i ever hit the campaign button and, and actually played it i never even thought about it actually so the campaign i ain't gonna really speak on it but i did hear it was really really short i don't really know how it was will i play the black ops 6 campaign probably not or if i do it'll be a long time from now like i said the campaign ain't on my mind i already got a camo grind for multiplayer zombies and warzone they all have their own little camo grind so that's gonna keep me busy for the most part in warzone i don't even know when i'm gonna get to warzone because i'm looking forward to multiplayer and then i'm looking forward to zombies one thing i can't say i did like about modern warfare 3 y'all is the camos modern warfare 3 has some nice camos y'all can't even say they didn't mastery camos caught my eye at the beginning <laughs> their prices that's all i ever wanted did I finish my camera grind? I did not finish my Modern Warfare 3 camera grind. So I have not completed a camera grind yet. So hopefully in Black Ops 6, maybe I can actually complete a camera grind for once in my life. The last three camos that came, as soon as the game dropped, they were good. And then throughout the game, the events that came up and then all the different... Like I said, the camos on this game was good. They had a lot of camos that were available that you had to grind for, that you didn't have to pay for, which I thought was nice. Especially at the end, that last little event, it was a, it was a lot of uh, nice little camos in there. But I'm not going to act like it was a lot that I enjoyed about the game. I really only played Modern Warfare 3 because that was the game at the moment, really, to be honest. I know a lot of people been calling this game a DLC since Modern Warfare 2 dropped. Like I said, I ain't even going to sit here and act like the game was awesome because it was just something to play. But it wasn't as bad as a lot of people make it seem. Multiplayer grew on me. Um, ranked was cool. Like I said, coming from... Playing Modern Warfare 3 after playing Modern Warfare 2, it, it, it was good at the beginning. It was better. The movement was good when it first dropped and all that. I ain't gonna really just sit here and bash the game. The weekly challenges that we had was cool. I liked that. It gave me a reason to want to get on and feel like I was working towards something. Although the challenges were super easy. The last couple weeks, I think I was, um, I was finishing my uh, weekly challenges. I didn't even look at them. I was just playing the game and here I go unlocking them all. Like, I feel like they could have made them a little more hard. So I actually took effort to do it. I felt like those weekly challenges were just way too easy. But then again, let me not say that because if they make it too hard, I'm going to complain about that too. I ain't never satisfied. Now talk about what I didn't like about the game. Now one thing I did not like about the game is when it came to me building a loadout. Why is there so many things to choose from? I know looking on the other end, y'all probably like, oh, well, we're happy that we have 300 scopes to choose from. But someone like me, I don't want to have to go through that many scopes. To me, it, just building a gun, I, I ain't like it. It's just too much to choose from. I don't even know where to start. I wish they could make that a little more simpler. I don't know, 30 attachments and 30 underbarrels to choose. I, I ain't really like that. That's just me personally, y'all. That's just my personal opinion. I don't want to hear, oh, you complain. That's just my personal opinion. I didn't like having to go looking through all the different attachments. I wish it was a simpler way to do that. I know another big issue that was going on since this game been out or whatever was a skill-based matchmaking. Does it right? Skill-based matchmaking. So... I ain't gonna really complain too much about skill-based matchmaking. I get really good games, and then I get like one or two sweaty ones. But I don't think the issue is as big as people make it seem. 
Skill based matchmaking ain't really bother me too much, I guess. When I got a rank, maybe, but maybe I just need to get better at the game. That's what y'all, that's what y'all thinking. Get better at the game before you complain. Yeah, I'm already ahead of y'all. So I ain't gonna really go too deep into the skill based matchmaking. That ain't never really was a thing that I really cared too much for. Some lobbies are super sweaty and some are super easy, but. Like I said, I ain't even dig into the skill-based matchmaking. Ain't something I woke up every day before I got on Call of Duty and thought about. So another issue with this game, y'all, I just felt like they focused so much on their microtransactions in the store. If nothing else got updated, y'all, the store got updated. We ain't even gonna talk about it, y'all. Know if y'all play the game, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all don't mind get updated, y'all. It's gonna be that store. The store was crazy in this game. I liked it more when we had more of the army theme, but now what all I see, y'all, I think I seen a fish run up on me. A duck? Was that the duck? Rats? Bats? I don't even know. The store is crazy. Call of Duty, I don't know if I'm playing Call of Duty, Fort. I don't know what I'm playing. Anywho, like I said, some people probably did enjoy when they brought all the different shipments. Shipment is one of the maps that's been out for a while. I'm kind of happy that, I'm, that I found out that we're, I ain't even gonna say I'm kind of happy, hold on. <laughs> Let me reword that. I am happy that they're bringing Nuketown back. Because back in the day, y'all, when I used to play, was that Call of War? Nuketown was on? Yeah. I was a two bot. I didn't even understand what to play. I don't even know if I was building a gun. I think I probably wasn't even using the guns I made. I probably was just using, I don't even know, but I ain't understand. I was not good back at Nuketown, so I'm ready for Black Ops 6. When they bring Nuketown, I'm ready this time. I'm excited to see Nuketown. So, like I said, a lot of people probably didn't complain about the shipment because they was happy to see shipment. Just like I ain't gonna complain about Nuketown because I'm happy to see Nuketown. But um, now let's talk a little bit about Black Ops 6, y'all. When I first played the beta, it was all right. I mean, I wasn't like, I was just wanna sit on here all day and play it. But when they added those newer maps, y'all, I got on the morning before it was finna, um, they was finna take it away. I got on, I played the new maps, I had so much fun, I was so sad that the game was gonna go. So I'm super excited for Black Ops 6. Like I said, I like the movement. I know that's a lot of, I, I know that's something a lot of people aren't big fans of is the movement but then you got some people like me who been waiting on the movement yep my little bot self is talking about i'm waiting on movement i'm happy to hear that there will be 16 new multiplayer maps at launch and there will be hardcore at launch i don't remember what game it was i don't know if it's modern warfare 2 that didn't have hardcore at the beginning i don't know i ain't camel grind back then it didn't even affect me but this one is dropping hardcore right at launch so i'm super excited get started on my camel grind get started on my prestige and all that cool stuff i did a little research and some of the perks from YC Player, y'all, is Gung Ho, which I've seen in, I've seen in previous ones. Um, it allows you to move faster by reloading and equipment use. Um, they have Ghost, which makes people can't see you on the UAV. Ninja, which silences your footsteps. They got Assassin, which highlights the enemies on kill streaks. And what else you do? And it grants a bonus score, something like that. Like I said, I was just doing a little research. I don't think I ever used Assassin. I don't even remember what perks I used during the beta. I think I was just clicking. I don't know. Whatever I did, the ones where you can, if you stay on the same color or whatever, you get an extra perk. I don't know. I don't really remember. I don't know what I was using then. But another one that I read on, they got Bruiser, which rewards melee kills, which I ain't gonna ever use. I don't melee. I guess you get health regeneration. I ain't gonna use that one. Dexterity, it reduces the fall damage and weapon motion when sliding and jumping. And they also got wild cards, like the perk greed. I don't know if that's what I was using on the beta, but I don't really remember. It supposed to let you equip an extra perk. Now, one thing that's going to be new for me, which probably won't be new for y'all, but Black Ops 6 is bringing a prestige system. Now, the prestige system is new. I don't really remember the prestige. Like I said, I ain't going to like I've been playing Call of Duty all my life because I haven't. I really got in it. Really took it serious, probably around Vanguardish time. That's why I learned a little multiplayer or whatever. But uh, they got a prestige system, so... There's 10 different levels to the prestige system. You all up to 55, you prestige, you get rewards. You get new icons, operator skins, blueprints. You get rewards every time you prestige. So after you hit 55, you're gonna prestige to two, all the way up into the 10th prestige. And after you prestige the 10th time, I believe that's when you get to continue to go, right? After you prestige 10, then you start over again, and then you either go past 55. Correct me if I'm wrong, like I said, I ain't never did a prestige system. I ain't never been part of it, I don't really know. So if I'm wrong about that, correct me. But I think you gotta do all 10, and then you start back at one after that 10. And then you go all the way past, 55 or I don't know or is it you go to 10 yeah because you got to prestige 10 times right so that last prestige we should start back at one again right uh, I think so Anywho, let's talk about zombies. Now, I have not played zombies, y'all, since Vanguard. I have not played zombies. I don't like the open world zombies. I don't like the idea of it. It's just not what I know. I like the old zombies. I like the round base zombies. I like every time you clear the round, another round is harder. I, I like that. I, I never tried the new 
zombies. I did try that. Was that Vanguard or Cold War that had Outbreak? That was a that was an open world one. I ain't even played that one. So I, I knew I wasn't gonna play the one that we got now. I never opened it, y'all. I never went in there. I never even tried anything because that's not what I expect from zombies. I expect the round base. So like I said, I'm super happy to see this round base coming back. I'm ready for round base. I ain't gonna lie. I'm excited, y'all. They dropping two new maps, Terminus and Liberty Falls, I believe. I have not even seen the maps. Like I said, I ain't really dig too much into zombies yet. Because I don't know what to expect. I don't want to be let down. But it sounds good. Um, I know the ray gun is returning. Isn't it always in zombies? This was part of zombies at this point. So they got the ray gun coming. And they also got, when I was reading on, they also got another mode that's called a guided main quest. So they're going to have a guided main quest. I guess it's supposed to make it easier for new players to know what you're supposed to be doing. Follow the storyline. I guess. I, like I said, I don't know. I ain't really look too much in on the zombies. I want the zombies to just pretty much surprise me and give me the old feeling that the old zombies gave me. That's what I'm hoping for in zombies. Like I said, I ain't really dig that far in the zombies. My main thing when I get on Black Ops is to start my camo grind and start my prestige. That's my number one focus for me. There's a lot to expect from Black Ops. I'm just giving y'all what I know. Like I said, clearly, I don't really know much, but hey, I'm sharing what I do know. But if you have anything that y'all want to add in this video, any comments, any thoughts, anything that y'all know that I said wrong or that y'all want to add, Feel free to leave them in the comments below. Talk to me. Because like I say, I, I did a little bit of research. I didn't really do too much. Because with Call of Duty, when I expect a lot from them, I don't get it. And then I be mad at the game. So this time I'm just going in. I ain't even expecting too much. Like I said, I ain't look into too much. I'm just ready to just see for myself the final game and how it's going to look. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all feel like Black Ops 6 is being overly hyped? Do y'all feel like it's not being talked about enough? Do y'all feel like it's going to be a game changer? I feel like it is. I hope it is. Like I said, I ain't even thinking about Warzone. I ain't even thinking about it. <laughs> To be honest, I, Warzone, I'm not even going to download Warzone. I'll probably play Warzone after the first season started or after the second season. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all comments, y'all thoughts in the comments. Y'all already know what to do. If y'all enjoyed this video, y'all hit that like button, hit that sub button, and stay tuned for my next video. Because y'all know I'm going to have a Black Ops 6 video coming tomorrow. Y'all already know it. <laughs> y'all already know.